Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. In this video today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a cauldron similar to the one that you see right now. So I thought I might do some tutorials on how to create some awesome models in my program just so you guys can learn actually how to use my program. Uh, it should be easy to use in the first place, but for the people that don't know, um, this series is going to be helpful to you. And even if people do know how to use it, uh, you might learn a few tips. Uh, watching these tutorials, but anyway, uh, we're gonna be I'm gonna be teaching you how to create a cauldron similar to the one that you see in front of me here. So what we're gonna do first is I'm just gonna go new. Um, I've actually already exported that one, so yeah, it doesn't really matter about me not saving it. Uh, but if you haven't downloaded my program yet, uh, the link is in the description for it because uh, you're going to need it for this tutorial. Alright, let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is add a new element and just a quick tip as well, if you highlight over any of the buttons and stuff like that, it will tell you what it actually does. So new element and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to resize this. Now we can uh, resize it by clicking these buttons over here. But what we can also do is, if I just put that back to what it was, if we do that, if we actually hold control, right click on the the element and then just drag, it will actually resize, um, it will resize the element and you don't have to use these buttons over here. So if I wanted to uh, resize it this way, I would look, that's, I would look facing that side. If I want to bring it back this way, then I'll come to this side here and then drag like that and it will extend it that way. So control and right click on the element and then you can resize it. Now also, um, if you control and click, it will actually move the element around. So that's a couple of things that we're going to be doing in this tutorial. Just in case you don't see me clicking over the side here, I'm going to be using those controls just because they are a lot easier. So the first thing that we're going to do is create the wood at the bottom. So uh, we're not going to make it exactly the same as what uh, you saw initially, just because I wanted to um, play with like a three by three wood design, make it a little bit bigger. So we're going to create a element that looks something like this. And then what we're going to do is drag it to the center here. Now, again, this is using control and click and the control and right click, which I just explained. Now we want this three by three, um, kind of like um, prism here to be in center with this green line here so we're just going to go over to the size bit here and for this position on the Z uh, we're actually going to hold shift and then click five times on the negative and then now that is in the center now we're going to duplicate the element and we're simply going to go to rotation click on Y axis and then we're going to drag it to negative 45. Then we're going to duplicate that one again and then drag this rotation to 45. And then we need to create one more. So create another cube or oh, a new element uh, just because we can't really uh, duplicate these ones again just because of the limitations. And what we're going to do is going to drag that there through, whoopsie, three wide. three high and then we're going to drag that all the way whoops just resized it oops three wide drag that all the way to the end and then we also need to increase the x position so hold shift and we're going to click um, five times on the plus one holding shift and there we go we got our logs down the bottom now what we're going to do is we're actually going to apply a texture to the logs so we're just going to click on the first element here and then we're going to go over to our faces tab image and now if you haven't already loaded the uh, log texture up you just simply click on import and then locate um, wherever you've got your Minecraft uh, textures extracted to. So I've actually already loaded it up so I'm not going to uh, worry about loading it in again and where did it go? Oh no there it is. I just couldn't see it because it was selected. So there's our uh, log texture. We're going to click apply. Now, if we just have a look here, there it is applied to that, um, that, that element there. We're going to click on copy and then we're going to shift paste and it's going to apply it to the whole um, element. Now, we're going to do that for all of them. So just 
once it's already copied, you can just do shift paste to all of them. Say so, boom. Now, if you see the texture spasming in the middle there, that is because the textures are actually rendering rendering in the exactly the same spot. That's why um, it's just spasming out. But we're not going to worry about it too much, just because it's actually going to be hidden uh, from the cauldron. So there we go. We've done our wood. What we're going to do now is we're going to add a new element, and then we're going to drag this up, drag this to the right two times, drag it to the left. Um, should we? I think we might put the uh, edge there because we might have a biggish kind of cauldron. We're going to bring that to there and across, and it should be a perfect square. So it's a 12 by 12 square. So that is the base for our cauldron. Then we're going to add a new one. I'm going to bring that up, bring that down a little bit across to there, bring it to that corner, and drag that across. And then we're actually going to drag this up a specific amount. So we've already used four. So that means it's going to be 12 high. So if we just boom, boom. I might make it a bit smaller, actually. 10 high seems good. So make that 10 high. Then we're actually going to duplicate it. And then hold, hold control and click and drag it across. And then you'll notice that it has moved that duplicated one over to this side here. Now we're going to create a new, um, a new element, and then we're going to put this one in that corner right there. So control and click to drag, move it around. Then we're going to extend that out to there, and then extend that to the top. Then we can duplicate that again, and boom, there we go. We've created our cauldron. Now we're going to texture this as well. So we're going to select the bottom um, part here. So a cool way to select as well, if you don't want to select over here, is just control click um, the piece you want, and then it will automatically select it in the list here. And then we're going to go into faces, and we're just going to go the up face image. And then we might find, um, <clears throat> might import one actually, just so you guys understand how importing works. So uh, we might click on top. What's that one? Ah, uh, that. Oops. Nope. Don't want that. We'll do inner maybe. Yeah, that looks good. So apply. And then we're actually going to adjust the UV. So over the left here, we've got the UV editor. And now we're going to go to the up face because that's the one that we want to edit. And we're actually going to position it so it's like in the center there. And it looks a lot nicer on the model here. Then what we're going to do is we're actually going to copy and then shift paste and apply it to all the faces. So there we go. So that's them covered. Then we're actually going to select these ones and then shift just shift paste on all of them uh, actually we're actually we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do that we want a better texture for the side so uh, load up the side texture for the cauldron and click apply then we're gonna copy and paste that to the side there now we're gonna fix up these um, UV coordinates in a second so just shift paste them to all the elements so again if you want to select just control click the uh, element that you want to select and then we can simply uh, it will simply automatically select it in the list here and then you can do whatever you want to it so there we go now we're going to fix up the UV uh, on this because right now see how we've just got like this dark line here and then it just goes straight into this kind of like light grey here we're going to fix that up so uh, we're going to select um, we're going to select this element here so you control click and then what we need to do is, if we actually look at our compass here, you notice that north is straight ahead. So the north face is this one over the other side. This is the south face. So that's how we can find out which face we're going to be editing. So this is our face here. So if we notice, we drag that across. We'll drag that into the center there. But make sure it's still kind of touching the top. It's aligned with the top there. 
and then we will come over to the oh we'll just move the north face exactly the same as well so uh, over the top left here um, just drag it across I think two times now we're actually going to do that um, to this element here as well so you control click and then just drag that north over, oh it's three times, so one, two, three and then that is starting to look a lot better now now for these side ones as well, so click on these side elements um, if we again look at the compass uh, what I was explaining before, this is the north that is the south face, so obviously this side is the east and that side's the west so this here is the west face and what we're going to do is just drag that over twice and then we're going to select this other side here and this is the east face east face, and we're just going to drag that over two times as well now I don't like these black kind of like these dark lines here so we're simply going to click on those elements and they are actually the south face so we're actually going to drag them across um, maybe just once on the south face, so just drag them to the right select this one as well, whoops and then drag that over to the right once and then we also need to edit the north face, so you just drag that, we've already got it selected so we can drag it over once select this one and then drag it over one and now we haven't got those horrible kinda like black lines now just to fix these top ones as well um, move them over one, two, actually might move them over uh, still got kinda like a horrible black line, oh yeah this is what we can do actually um, what we'll do is we'll drag it over two and then we'll come over to our side here, click on up and then what we're gonna do is we're going to rotate it and then we've actually got to fix up this uh, UV here so what we're going to do is, is instead of just left clicking we're actually going to right click and this is going to um, change the uh, kind of like the shape of the UV because we were just using um, the default shape so it basically determines the dimensions of this face here and it uses that to use the UV but we can actually change that shape um, if we use right click and um, move it around so that is looking a whole lot better, we're going to do exactly the same to this side here, so let's select that, oops come on, there we go and then again on the up face we're just going to drag it across I think two, actually drag it across, yeah two and then something like that and then on the rotation and make sure it's on the upside, there's a little bug there at the moment that, we could, that I gotta fix up um, rotate the texture 90 and there we go, we got a very nice UV going on here and we've, we've still got like the um, bottom texture as well which is looking really good, this is actually looking better than the uh, initial model that I showed you guys now we're not done yet, we're actually going to add a handle onto the cauldron just because cauldrons have handles just in case you want to pick it up a witch wants to move her stuff or something like that, I don't know <laughs> uh, so we're going to create another element and then we're going to drag this and you want to drag it into the center at the top here so around um, kind of like this position here at the top of it and then what we're going to do is go into the element properties and then what we actually might do just for just for fun um, is actually use the buttons over here so we're going to extend that until it is basically two out from the side here and then what we want to do is go into a rotation increase the origin on the Y axis um, up to 13 here and then in the um, axis here we're going to select Z and then we're actually going to rotate this to negative 22.5 then we're going to duplicate this element so we still got it selected so just click the duplicate button and then we're going to click control and then drag that across to the other side here so that's the other side of the handle 
Now create a new element and then we're actually going to bring this up to the same height we initially put here for that one and then we're going to drag across and then just drag into the center here. Now uh, we need to increase the origin Y position up to 13 so the same as what it was before and then what we're going to do is uh, extend this um, extend this element so it is ending at this position and starting at that one so we actually need to uh, I might drag this up a little bit hold up if I get up here so it's going to be the same width as the cauldron and then what we're going to do is just bring that back down and then what we're going to do is ex move the position of this to I think I think it's one gap from the cauldron there and then change the axis to Z and then go to negative 22.5 and there we go as you can see the handle is now connected properly now we're going to simply texture it so the texture that I'm going to use for it is just the stone so you just select or load up your stone texture if you haven't already click apply copy and then shift paste and then do that for the other parts of the handle and there we go we have made our cauldron so hopefully that was pretty simple to follow on all we've got to do is go to file export and then just save it wherever you want to so cauldron uh, it's actually going to be cauldron empty that's the real name cauldron empty underscore empty and export so I'm going to load the model into Minecraft now and I'll get back to you then. So I've loaded it up into the game now and it is looking absolutely awesome. This model for this cauldron just looks amazing. It feels like I've actually got a mod in game. It's that good. So <laughs> there we go guys. That is going to end off this tutorial today. If you have any ideas for models which I should do tutorials for in the future let me know in the comments. Also follow me on Twitter because I do post updates about my model creator if you are interested in following the development of it. So remember to leave a like and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.